the LED flicker. We're going to take two LEDs. Actually, you only need one. We can put two together. Just regular LEDs, 10 cents each. Okay? And we're going to make these guys flicker with one line of code. For our example today, we're going to take a Tiki Mesh 3D printed and put a piece of orange acrylic behind the mask, like so, like that. And we're going to make that light flicker with these 10 cent each LEDs. All right? Let's pop 88 this. Welcome back, guys. Here is our sketch called Flickr. At the C, at the top, rather, you'll see we have two includes, Arduino and the software serial. And we have we define it one pin, uh, torch lights, pin 10 on the Arduino. We're going to be using the Arduino Nano. In the setup, we do the basic uh, serial so we can talk to it. Uh, and then this is where we set the output to torch lights. And it's going to be, pin 10 is going to be an output. And then number, the last step we need to do is the random seed, get that a random seed generator going. Now, in the loop, the main loop, all we have is one function called flicker. And here's the function defined right here. All we're going to do is take this analog write function and we're going to pass it the pin number, which is torch lights, and give it a random number. That's it. And we're going to delay it right after that approximately 60 milliseconds. That's it. And then it'll run in the loop all this time, flicker, 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 until it, we stop it. But that flicker, will, and I'm going to show you in the real uh, what it's going to do when we uh, build this. So if we compile that, make sure that it works. Again, done compiling. But the most important part is this analog write feature and the torch lights, and then this random number. That's all we need. That's the one line of code, it's gonna flicker. So now I'm gonna uh, upload that to the Arduino and then I'm gonna show you with the lights behind the uh, Tiki that we did. All right, let's do that next. We have our LEDs glued to the orange acrylic with hot glue. And I highly recommend if you want more light out of, your, out of your LEDs, get some aluminum tape. It's reflective on both sides, which is, makes the LEDs even brighter. So we're gonna take this off here. Put it over our LEDs like so. Move that over there. Like that. So we want all that reflective light to come back to our uh, source that we want over there. See? And that will be the Tiki source. It looks nice and dark. But wait till we power it on. And going back to the Arduino, I don't like using breadboards. I like live using it immediately. So let me focus on this guy. Let's see what we got here. There we go. We have our ground pin going to the ground of the LED. And we have pin number 10 right there. Pin number 10. There we go. Wrong one. There we go. Let's make it nice and clear. And pin number 10, as you can see, going to our positive LED. And that's it. So now when we power on the Arduino, get that over there. All right, we're gonna power, plug this in here. I'll do it with two hands. You can even see how bright it is already. And I'll hold it just so you can see it flicker. Look at that. And by reducing the, the delay in the uh, sketch I showed previously, you can make it flick, flicker even faster. But look at that. Now I'll even shut the lights off. And that's, the brightness is also coming from two LEDs and the uh, reflective tape that I have there. So I'll shut the light off here. And you can even see, let's cover it up. There we go. It's pretty bright for a, uh, just two LEDs. That's the aluminum tape going through uh, orange acrylic. So I hope you guys like the Tiki Torch. Oh, and another point too is you can use this uh, sketch when you have Star Wars panels. For example, if you have a uh, uh, like a circuit or a little hole in the wall in a panel. Let me see. I got one over here. Let me show you guys. All right. Let's, here's a Star Wars panel, for example. And say you had this cut out 
and maybe showing some guts of the uh, circuits behind it, maybe some tubes. You can have lights flicker in there and show a, uh, like maybe an electrical short or something like that, even in the Star Wars panel. So you can use that flicker method in almost anything that you can uh, imagine that you need some type of flickering light or maybe some faulty electronics. So I hope that uh, gives you a better idea of what you can do with just a flicker, uh, LEDs flickering. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little uh, LED flicker, uh, Tiki Torch, Star Wars, Electrical Faults, whatever you want to call it. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. All right, and thanks again for watching.